Diving into the captivating world of guppy care, let's explore where vibrant colors meet unique behavior and explore the essential aspects from tank setup to feeding to ensuring a thriving aquatic haven for these dynamic fish. So guppies are popular freshwater fish known for their vibrant colors and easy maintenance. Proper care is essential to ensure their health and longevity. Here's a comprehensive guide to guppy care. So for a small group of guppies, you're going to need an at least 10 gallon tank. So I ha this is my 10 gallon tank and I have baby guppies in here right now. As you can see, the substrate I'm using, it's a white sand that is absolutely perfect for the guppies. They love it. I'm not a big fan of gravel because, I don't know, I just don't like it. And also, I have these plants in here. I'll get more on those later when we talk more about the decor and stuff. But, as you can see, I have plants in here. So, my basic filtration is this filter. It's a um, sponge filter. So, you can use that little bit in top to empty out anything that you don't want. And also, this sponge filter is just a really nice filter. The snails also help, as you can see him just sitting there. Also, this is my heater. Guppies thrive in temperatures between 74 and 82 degrees, so keep that in mind. So, now we're on to decorations. So, I like live plants, and I like hiding spots. So, I have frog bed on the top. Just like some floating plants. I have some leaves in there to kind of give it the smell that the guppies like. They really like that smell. And also I have some plants that grow up and I have some grasses in the back. So they really enjoy that. And also you really want to be careful with water quality. So the main thing that you need to worry about in water quality is maintaining a pH level between 6.8 and 7.8. And you need to regularly test and keep levels of nitrates and ammonia at zero. You can do this by easily getting a water test kit at your local pet store or fish store or something like that. And water changes are also another big thing that I like to go into. Perform regular water changes, I would say 20 to 25 percent, but I would do that like every three to four weeks would be nice you can vary on the size of your tank and how many plants you have these plants are really nice because they help keep the levels of ammonia and nitrates down so those are very helpful so the next section we are going to be going in here is I think I'm going to cover the varieties next so, guppies have several varieties. Endlers are considered a type of guppy. Endlers are sm guppies are smaller and come in various color patterns. Fancy guppies are selective bred for vibrant colors, tail shapes, and patterns. So, whichever kind of guppy you want or suits you better, choose that. They're all very different, but they're all very beautiful. And lastly, just enjoy your guppies. I mean... You got the tank set up, you have all this done, I'm sure it looks amazing, but just spend time watching and enjoying the, the unique behavior of your guppies. And while guppies are not typically interactive with their owner, when you feed them, they'll, they'll come up to you and stuff, and they'll, you know, just kind of be with you there, so don't forget that. And another thing with food, they have a varied diet, so just... Give them flakes or pellets, anything easy like that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys right back in the next one. See ya!